M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're just going to look at a couple of the basics on this BT01 Bluetooth microphone. Now on the top we have the power on on off button. We also have the up and down buttons, up, down, power. This radio does, or this Bluetooth microphone, does receive dual band, so you can hear the A band and the B band at the same time. You can select single screen, just program it with one, one of your buttons. What I've done is I've programmed the button underneath the PTT. Now there are three programmable buttons. Uh, one, two, three. Each one has three programs. Obviously there's a PTT there, a belt clip on the back. The, ba the, the battery, I've had the back off this and the, the batteries, you can buy them online. They're not expensive, they're under a 10 pounds. A nice belt clip there. It's quite a lightweight device. It's nowhere near as heavy as the 878 because it's not a radio. So what else? Let's take the flap off here. It's USB-C chargeable. We have a twin pin connector there for your programming lead. I'm not really sure what that will be used for yet because I haven't tried that out. There's an empty unused SIM card slot here as well. But the device feels nice. It's a nice size. And it gives you full control TX RX. So you, you key and the radio does transmit the 450 watts if you've selected that DMR, APRS, GPS. It does all that. You can see there it's got digi mode, dual slot digi mode. You can see the signal, the power, battery, volume, and the Bluetooth is turned on. Now it will connect via a wired RJ45 cable, Cat5, Cat6. As far as I can see with my testing, will work. And the good thing is that when you do connect it to a, a Cat5 cable from the radio, it starts to charge, which is quite nice. Or you can use the USB-C charger, which is readily, readily available. It's just uh, zooming in the screen. So you can see we've got some activity there. Now, if you want to move away from the this zone, just go up or down. Just go down like so. And you're moving away from the zone. So now we're away from the zone where we are, um, we don't have to listen to the activity. And then we, like I said, we've programmed it to go A and B. You can select that. Or with a long press, I'm pretty sure I've done it so that it will turn off the sub channel. And we're now single mode. Push it again. Dual mode. If I want to turn the volume up and down, I just, see it says volume here in small writing. That says volume. So because of it now, the up and down buttons are controlling the volume. If I push it, like so, now the up and down bu buttons are controlling the channel and the frequency. So we can scroll through the different channels within that zone. So it's zones, channels. Now when it comes to settings, it's, it's, you can set obviously up to nine shortcuts for your power, your GPS, APRS, all these kind of things. But everything the radio does, this BT-01 will do. So it's a truly portable device, Bluetooth and wide. And the reason for the nice long cable that comes in the box is because you, a lot of people will put the device under their car seat or in the boot and then they can completely control this from the... From you know from this handheld now the range I would say I've tested it really any more than about 15 foot and you'll start to get packet loss so it is you know it is meant to be within the vicinity of the radio it does give you some flexibility the good thing about the wired part is then that doesn't matter yeah then it you could I think you could have a very long cable and literally have this uh, have your radio in one room in the house and move it to another now look at the uh, the menus let's push menu here they're pretty similar to the Anytone 878. And I'm not sure what book is. I've never used book. Book list, new book, manual. Oh, manual dial is an obvious one. Let's select that. Yeah, you can. So the shortcut for manual dial is hold down the zero. Then choose whether you're going to be group mode or, or um, private mode. Let's just delete this a minute. Let's back out completely. Hold down the zero. Now we do have to be thinking about it in on a digital channel. So let's just make sure we are. Right, China, that's better. That's a digital channel. Now hold down zero. Now we're in talk group or push it private. Then you type in the number, for example, 
then key the mic and you're you're dialing 921 which is not reaching at the moment because that's not the repeat repeater or hotspot that we're on go back into menu messages if we received any inbox so you can see the message selection there you've got call log zones these are my zones that i've put in go back we're going back with the red button selecting with the green scan roaming we will look at settings record gps now the 578 has a gps antenna that you connect to the back so it's not on at the moment gg monitor so that's promiscuous mode for time slots one and two if i can zoom in a bit closer bluetooth if i turn it off it will disconnect from from my uh, radio but look at all this so what i'm going to have a go at in a set after this video is actually just pairing something using this like a pairing some earbuds but using this device and see if it works i haven't tried that bt names paired names look at all the bluetooth settings then you've got all these rfbt mic gain rfbt speaker gain what's all that i have not used any of this bt pinko bt pair or bluetooth isn't it so a massive menu on bluetooth aprs all your usual aprs settings look aprs and well, we haven't used aprs yet not on the handheld we have on the eight on the five seven eight it works excellent and that's on rx and tx and record voice volume is that the last one yeah so exit that and then we'll just go back in and go to settings settings so you can Create a channel from scratch. You've got your radio settings, voice, display functions. Look at all the display functions. You can select different colors, language, channel name. It's all there. Everything that you would expect on any tone DMR radio, like the 868 or the 78. Key functions, we've talked about that. So it's one, two, three keys. Long, short, and long two. So I'm sure you set that. Other functions. Auto power off, TX timer timeout fan open frequency step yeah that's a useful one and it goes i'm pretty sure it go, yeah it goes down to 2.5 which i like squelch levels is that tone tone burst well not many use that these days vox vox scan mode dtmf do you know i haven't even used dtmf yet so we're going to i want to try it out with this handheld for my all-star node AM, FM, broadcast radio, radio, money, AM, offset. So it's obviously got AM, airband, auto, repeater, shift. I don't know what VFO, SC, mini and max U is. Quite a lot there. Weather alarm, weather channels, SMS format, CTC, STE, whatever that is. Date and time, of course. Back key display functions and voice functions then you've got the whole channel set if you're programming a channel and saving a channel dmr or analog and the menu does change if you're in if you're in analog mode it's going to be a different menu than digital mode just remember that device info so i've got the latest firmware now one one part of the firmware i had to put in using an apk which sounds quite daunting but in the end you're 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 transferring the files using the usb cable on your phone first to connect to your pc and drag in the files into a file on your phone which is yeah so you know where they are then you upload the apk which is one of the files that you've transferred or open it open the apk and then you use that to select this via bluetooth and send files to it so it's most of it you can do with the code plug but there was one called 1.06 which i think was the aprs and Bluetooth and the 10043 here was fine uh, but the 106 no that wasn't I had to faff around with that for ages but otherwise the normal firmware on the Anytone 578 works in the normal way now they are bringing out another firmware for this radio because there was a couple of bugs that they've already found and that's coming out soon and the second it comes out I'll load it and I'll do a video and well, I'm pretty sure you can do that when using your code plug so, you know, what's my summary about this item? Because, I, I, you know, it, it really, I'll tell you why I like this item. Because it was, this was the, this item is the reason I wanted to get the Anytone 578. I've had 878s for ages. 
And I didn't really want the 578 because I thought, well, I only use it really as a hotspot and around the house. What's the point? But when I saw this device, it really appealed to me. And number one, because I thought, wow, I can collect my collinear. I can go into, say, two meters simplex analog mode and I can sit near, you know, sit around and I can tune and look for weak signals using my external antenna. And then if I want, I can use 50 watts with my license. Um, and, and, and just from this handheld. So that really appealed to me. Also, I like the look of it. You know, it's a bigger screen than the eight, than the 878, 868. Although th those screens are okay. But look at that. This is, it's just very nice to use. I'm sure I've missed something. There's lots on here that I've, that more that this, this device does, I'm sure. And, uh, but anyway, my, it's thumbs up from me. I got mine from Moonraker. Excellent service. Come with a warranty. And um, came the next day. So bye for now. 7-3. Thanks for watching my channel. And catch you on now. All the best.